Okay, so we are working on a 2018 F-150 Raptor. This goes to apply for any of the four-wheel drive F-150s, really. And you can see how it's got all this fluid and stuff down here. It's all coming from this seal. So what I did was I took the 10 millimeter bolts all, all the way around and I tapped on this with a hammer, pulled it out of the way. And now what I'm gonna do is take these, I think they're 14 or 15 millimeter uh, sway bars. And I'm going to drop this down and when I drop this down it's going to be the, give me the clearance to actually drop this front drive shaft down and then I can work on getting that uh that yoke and everything off of there so I can replace that seal okay so you see the sway bars out of the way now I got it hanging just let it hang it ain't gonna do nothing it's fine it's uh 15 millimeter it's just a bracket that goes through the frame up here it's two 15 millimeter bolts on both sides then you got this down out of the way just hanging here and now you can work here I think that's a 30 millimeter nut or a 27 millimeter nut, but I'm gonna take that off next. So this is where I'm at, uh, it's 27 millimeter. I pulled the nut off and I marked here. I marked on the inside. Let me clean off that lens real quick. So you see I marked on the flange, I marked on the inner taper part, and I marked here on the top because I want it to go right back on the same way. So Ford has a specific tool they want you to remove. It's a crankshaft harmonic balancer. Uh, it's like the little three finger deal with the, the back finger on it. And they want you to screw into the screw holes. I don't find that's necessary what I use is this big giant ass six inch three jaw puller and I just go over the entire thing and I go back behind it and I just nice and easy take it off so that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it off now I don't know why this camera's having such a hard time adjusting today Just make sure you get all these sucked in all the way behind that when you pull and they just be nice and easy and just pull it right off so I I took the I took the seal off with a chisel and then I pulled the slinger off and cleaned it you got to check inside make sure there's no real bad scoring or anything and this one looks pretty clean it literally just looks like the seal was leaking a lot of times you gotta pull apart this and replace the crush washer and stuff, but this wasn't a bearing issue, this was just a seal issue, so I don't need to replace the crush washer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back to the way it was and then just go just a hair more tightness, and that should set me right back at what I need to be. So now I'm gonna install the new seal and use the cup driver and stuff on it, and you'll see after I install it. Here's the new seal. The part number you need is 3 Nancy 134. It's that center number right there. And then here's the nut. 4 Charlie 121. So you can see where I've got my mark there. I've got my mark out here on the flange. And underneath this, I marked the, the top of the flat on the, the actual uh, pinion itself. And then basically... I just kind of went back and I'm feeling for, it's the same as it was before. Yeah. No up and down movement, no in and out movement. So I'm good. I'm going to leave it exactly where it's at. What I did was I went tight and then I just felt. I went a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more until I felt like it was exactly the same tension it was before. Because the only thing that was wrong with it was the seal was leaking. But now you see the seal's not leaking anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drive shaft back up in there and then zip all my bolts and stuff down and then go test drive it and see, see what I think. Okay, so on the test drive right now, um, everything, no binding, no excessive noise coming from the front end but it would be extremely hard to be able to be able to pinpoint if there was any kind of sound coming from the front end because 
this guy's got these really big aggressive tires on here they're extremely loud um, but overall everything seems to be really nice he's got a shift kit in this truck as well not a shift kit but a tune so whenever you go to shift this truck from park to drive the line pressures are higher so it's got a little bit of a jolt to it this guy wanted this truck tuned brand new when he bought it and we put the tune in it for him um, so now we just go on a basic eight mile run come back and recheck the seal again just to make sure everything's okay and then return the truck back to the customer thanks guys